I'm just saying, let, let's, let's take some of them, okay? In your book, you show that neo-Darwinism cannot explain the origin of biological information, but some people say, aren't there other evolutionary theories that do so? Well, there are other evolutionary theories be, beyond neo-Darwinism, and one of the things I show in the book, in chapters 15 and 16, is that these other evolutionary theories, in many cases, do are, are improvements over neo-Darwinism, but they too fail to explain the origin of information. For, for example, there's a, a wonderful new uh, evolutionary uh, theory known as natural genetic engineering, and it's been uh, put forward by uh, really top cell biologists at the University of Chicago named James Shapiro, someone for whom I have great respect. And Shapiro has shown that the mutations that Darwinists rely on to account for new, uh, bi biological change are not actually random at all, but they instead seem to be under what he calls algorithmic control. There's a pre-programmed adaptive capacity in organisms that allows them to respond to various kinds of environmental stressors. And uh, I think that's fascinating, and, and I think he's very, made a very good case that these types of n directed mutations are occurring in response to various types of environmental challenges. But the question that, that uh, Shapiro doesn't attempt to answer is the question of the origin of that pre-programming. Where did it come from? Where did that come from? And that, again, is an information question. And so in, I show in, the, in uh, these later chapters in the book that, yes, there are new models of evolutionary theory, and that in part documents my claim that neo-Darwinism is dead. Uh, the te standard textbook theory is no longer accepted by leading evolutionary biologists themselves. They're moving on to try to develop new mechanisms to explain the origin of form and information. But I also show that these new theories invariably either don't address the question, the key question of the origin of biological information, or if they do, they simply presuppose prior unexplained sources of information and therefore leave the question unanswered as well. Yeah, it seems like they've got a brick wall at the beginning and at the end. They don't know how to get the information, and once you have the information, you can't mess with it very much. Well, we, we found that was true as well. In an earlier uh, segment, we talked about the problem of these uh, developmental gene regulatory networks, how they're very, uh, these networks of genes full of information are critical to building animals and animal body plans in the right way, and yet you can't perturb these networks without destroying the, the process of development.